Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Zoom into an FTP file server. For what an FTP file server is, basically FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And it's a way to move files to and from um, your device or your computer over the internet. Um, so it's, it's a standardized protocol that you need an FTP server to communicate to, to put things on and take things from, and then an FTP client, um, which basically um, connects to the server and, and handles it on the other device. So we're going to turn the Zoom into the server. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the marketplace. And the cool thing about this is you don't need a USB to transfer your files anymore. You can just use um, the the internet and do it locally on your Wi-Fi and I mean you can do it remotely as well from outside of your house but I mean there, there's a couple of complications with that and I, it's beyond the context of this video. So what what I've been using it's a pretty simple one is SWE FTP FTP server. So I just Looked, searched in the marketplace FTP server and it was the second choice um, and it, it worked really well right out of the box um, so this is an example and I'm gonna pan away from the computer so this is an example of a GUI that isn't yet optimized for the zoom Um, so what it does is you can see it takes basically the size of a phone screen up on your Zoom. That's all good. So basically what happens when you download it, you, you, you go to the setup menu and you're given a couple of uh, options. So first is admin. So you want a username to log in to your FTP server. So make sure you, you know, write username and then write that down somewhere and then password. Um, you know, something simple. Um, I, for, for the demonstration, I just have test as my password. Port number, um, 2121. You can't actually use the actual FTP port um, on your Zoom. Anything below 1200, you're not allowed to use. So I just made it 2121. Um, and then where in your device do you want to um, connect to? If you want the default where you connect your, your device in, is slash SD card so we'll, we'll we'll mount there so when you connect your computer um, and your zoom together the folder that you see through that um, connection is actually SD card so we're, we'll connect there and then everything else you'd have to worry about you can see in the interface even though it doesn't show it on the right immediately there is some scrolling down it's not just the, these four options so you scroll down and then just click save and then you can start it up and then what you'll see on here is you'll have this um, FTP web URL and so that's what you're gonna do now on your server or on your your, your PC so that we're gonna go over pan back to both devices now and I'll show you where to get your FTP client on your PC your Mac your Linux I'm gonna choose one that's um, pretty well known and is available for all your, all your platforms pretty much. So just look up fire, FileZilla, F-I-L-E-Z-I-L-L-A, um, on the web, and then it's right there. And then you want to download the client, not the server. Your Zoom is the server. So you want to download the client. And then based on your operating system, um, download that specific file. Um, the only thing for users out there, probably Mac users might not realize this, um, you want, if you have a recent Mac, you want the Intel version. Um, it was at least five years ago that um, they switched over. Mac no longer made their own GPU um, and uh, they switched over to Intel and it kind of made them the popular um, operating system that they are today because of it. So um, download that. I already have it download and then you just want to install it. And then let's bring it up on the computer. Right. 
So there's a couple of options, so I'm going to just zoom in on those first. Sorry for the shakiness. So what matters the most are these top. Host, username, password, port. Host is that um, Wi-Fi URL. You don't have to put the FTP, but you do have to put the 192.168.1 dot one oh nine um and then so that's basically your zoom's IP address and then you want to type in that admin that you set up or that username that you set up we had it admin and then you want to type in that password we just I just did it as test for the for this and then you want to specify the port which also so these are all things that you you, you designated in the setup and all you want to do now is press Quick Connect. And you'll see um, directory listing successful. And if we zoom out a little, and down here, we can see we are now looking at the Zoom and all its, its files. And I mean, no no connection. This is not connected at all. It, you can carry this anywhere within the range of your Wi-Fi and you can now transmit remotely. So I have a PDF on my Zoom that, um, that I, I mean a PDF on my PC that I want to upload. So let's, uh, let's go on my PC. It's this E times. So on the left is your PC file system, on the right is your Zoom file system. So I want to upload this onto my Zoom. So I'm going to go to Documents. It's not letting me go in. Let me just reset. Okay, I'm just going to reset, abort. Okay, let me just stop this for a second. Let's go back into the setup and let's take out SD card. Let's just go to the default route. Um, and um, we'll save it again. And then now we'll start the service. Um, let's quick connect again. Let's see if Okay. So now now the now now it now that we put it at the root, so don't don't put it at SD card. I don't know why it bugged out. We can go into SD card and now we can go into documents. And now we can we can see um there's EE times on my Zoom, let's just delete it. So you can even, you know, delete files on your Zoom. And I have a newer version, so I want to upload it. This is 20 megabytes. And it's uploaded. Nothing happens on your Zoom screen. In fact, you don't even need to be here. You can be out, out, outside. Um, and let's uh, do one. Let's go one more step. Let's let's find, let's let's create a test document. I'll open up Word real quick. Okay, so this is an FTP test taken at
106.29, let's say. One hour, six minutes, 29 seconds. And we'll save it as an FTP test. In my documents. And uh, what we're going to do is now go to FileZilla and we'll go back here and you can see here's the FTP test doc and I just want to right click on that and upload and we can see it's on the zoom so let's let's see if it did make it onto the zoom but you can see it's it is there oops sorry about that so what we're gonna do is go to our handy dandy Astro There you can see there's the FP, FTP test. Let's open FTP test with Quick Office. And you can see, there we go. This is an FTP test taken at 106 and 29. So, indeed, wireless file system management on the Zoom, making the Zoom an FTP server. Thank you.